So uh, Hendrik, um, maybe just that was a good segue to kind of the first question or to start the conversation. So you say you have a demo and testing center in Munich. Um, you have that partially because we're also facing in NDT and inspection many problems that we didn't even dream of five or 10 years ago. So could you maybe explain what some of these challenges are that you are trying to solve or have already solved in Munich uh, with direct conversion products? Yeah, for sure. Um, so the main topic is speed. And speed in regards of uh, remaining the efficiency of the, uh, of the imaging um, in terms of uh, contrast and low noise value. So we see a big, a high demand of uh, X-ray inline inspection in 2D and in CT as well, where um, speed is everything. And um, with our photon counting products, um, we really are ahead of that. For example, there is a battery CT, um, which no one has thought about a couple of years ago. Um, the uh, end customer, so the uh, battery manufacturer, uh, is requesting a one second CT per unit. Um, which is a big thing. Um, luckily, there is uh, te the technology is available in regards of frame rate and so on to, to really achieve this one second with a quality that is comparable to a, a 20 second or even a one minute CT five years ago. Wow. Did, did I understand correctly? One second per battery cell. Correct. And it turns in 360 degrees or a little bit less in that time. And uh, a number of 400 to 600 projection images is captured in that time. Wow. So I think that already, it's very interesting because it already sort of touches on it. I think a concept that people have about direct conversion detectors that they necessary, necessarily are line detectors, which is of course not true, correct? Because to capture that much data and that much of the battery cell, you need a, you do need a certain area. So maybe can you say a word or two about that? Detectors are not that huge, but we uh, it's, it's it's fair enough just to capture a corner of the of the battery um, for for all those tests. You don't need a you, you will not capture the entire battery. That doesn't really work. Also in regards of uh, image resolution, because it, the entire uh, capturing the entire battery basically lose geometric uh, magnification. So you, you move a, a corner of the battery very, very close to the, uh, to the source. So the demand is somewhere between 25 micrometers to 50 micrometers in image resolution. And um, by only capturing um, the edges where you have uh, the anode cathode overhang, um, this is def uh, definitely sufficient for all the measurements. You do not require a huge detector like a 20 by 20 centimeters um, and five by 20 is a scanner. In fact, probably if you're doing some magnification and you, you have too large of a detector, you've got a parallax effect problem as well, correct? Because we're trying to separate, at least in 2D, the anode from the cathode, and you cannot really afford to have your X-rays come in at, at too much of an angle as opposed to straight down, right? Very, very true. So um, with CT, parallax is, uh, you no need problem. parallax for CT, but in the end, it's, it's, it's gone after the reconstruction. That's the beauty of it. But in the 2D world, where we um, use our detectors as a, uh, as a line scanner, um, we have the, it's a, we have the huge advantage that by scanning, we lose the uh, parallax impact in one dimension. And if you orientate the product or sample uh, properly, then and you have a straight shot through the um, anode and cathodes for, for upcoming measurements. Can you say, for example, how large a typical detector and what it's called would be that you use to inspect a battery in CT? In, in, CT, area, it's, right? yeah. in CT, it's a power detector. The size is um, pretty much um, 20 uh, centimeters long and 5 centimeters wide or high, however you want to uh, call it. Um, the uh, physical pixel pitch uh, is, is uh, 100 micrometers, which is uh, pretty, pretty good for, for lot of such applications where in the past 200 or even 400 micrometer pixel pitches were used to somehow be fast. Um, 
So 20 by five uh, centimeters Thor. And um, one more thing, um, because we have a huge amount of images being captured, those need to be transferred. So the transfer actually, or the readout being the bottleneck, um, we do have a 10G interface uh, since this year, and um, this basically solves that issue.